How do you reach out and touch 574 tribes, you know? This design came to me almost overnight. The way you touch everybody is, is through tradition and ceremonies. And most ceremonies involve the elements, water, fire, the earth, and the air. All those things are sacred. And then we know that uh, the directions are sacred. You know, the power, we know that uh, they say that the power comes from these different directions. And some tribes, you know, just recognize four. Some, a lot of tribes recognize six directions. And then we recognize uh, the cardinal points. The cardinal points are the southeast. That's our sacred color, white. It's the sun, it's a, it allows you to start a new day. It allows you to be better than you were yesterday. So the southwest is the color red. That's where the creator comes from. You know, that's where weather comes, bad weather, weather comes from that direction. That's, that's the creator showing his power to you, you know? And so we always think about the Creator when it, in the Southwest. And the Northwest is the color yellow, and that's Mother Earth, or Grandmother Earth. She gives us the plants, and the animals, and, and the, the water, and the vegetation. And Northeast is where our ancestors live, our grandfathers. That's the color black. And they taught us all these things. And they remind us that we continue to do those things. So when we do a ceremony, we ask our grandfathers to come watch us to make sure that we're doing the right thing. Native people are the same, but they're different. They do things just a little bit different when they honor somebody, you know. And, and some tribes, uh, when they enter a, a circle, they, they dance clockwise. And some tribes dance counterclockwise. And some tribes will come in from the west or the north or the east, you know. They have their directions that they come into. The cardinal points completes the circle, completes the cycle of life. The circle is so important. Then I think about the dance grounds and teepees are around and hogans are around and, and kivas are around and, and uh, some of these roundhouse lodges. And I said, the circle is so important. In order for you to stay in harmony, you have to walk the red road. And sometimes you'll get out and, and then and you the, the red road pulls you back to the middle and then you might drift out a little bit and come back in. So I thought, you know, I need a pathway. I need a pathway and we'll call it the path of life until you get into the area where uh, the uh, directions are and then you come inside where the, where the drum is and the water and the fire in the big circle. I said, uh, when you come into there, you become in harmony with all of those things. You know, so you know, it came to me overnight, but it was my experience of a lifetime that, that all came together, you know, the, the brain just put it all together for me, you know, but it's things that I was taught, uh, learned on my own and, and uh, learned from other people. And uh, so, yeah, it, it was a lifetime experience that helped build this, this, this memorial.